Hi everyone, it's Christina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this look. It's perfect for springtime, just nice and simple. So if you guys are interested, then make sure you keep watching. So getting right into the video, I'm going to be showing you guys just me priming my eyes. <laughs> That's what's first. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the lightest shade that they have. I love this to prime my eyes. It's perfect. And then I'm just going to set it with a neutral eyeshadow. This is, uh, I believe it's called Soft peach from the Anastasia Beverly Hills shadow couture palette but you can use any light color to set your eyes and then I'm going to take the color Morocco from that same palette but this shade is in multiple palettes from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to take a Sigma E40 brush this brush is super soft and yeah just apply that as a transition shade now I don't have much of a lid I have more upper eye space so I have to get in a habit of bringing my eyeshadow pretty high up and that's what I was doing right here and then taking my Morphe 350 palette I'm taking that bottom brown shade and using a Dallium Tools brush to apply that to my outer V and then just bring that in towards the inner corner of my eye. And I do bring it up a little bit just so that way there's a nice fade between the Morocco shade and the brown. And then to kind of blend everything together, I'm taking this Duo Fiber brush. I believe it's by Morphe. It's like one of my favorite blending brushes. Um, just taking that and blending everything together. And now for my lid, I'm taking MAC Mixing, MAC Mixing Medium first and applying that to my lid to help like prevent the eyeshadows from transferring. And it also makes them super pigmented because I am technically using highlighters here. I'm taking the Nicole Glow Palette and I'm taking Daydream first and applying that to my lid and then taking Kitty Cat and putting that more towards the inner corner of my lid and kind of just mixing the two together. I really wanted like more of like a pinky look um, since springtime is coming and yeah I just use like a really fine brush to do that and then I'm taking a Dium Tools brush this is more like a pencil brush and a deeper brown shade and kind of carving it out a little bit to make it more intense for my face I'm using the elf um, primer and I'm applying that all over my face I know my face does look two-tone but that's because I applied self tanner and it looks like I didn't apply self tanner to my forehead I don't know I'm then going to take my concealer, which is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. This is the lighter shade, 01. I love this foundation. I'm on my second bottle, almost my third. But it's such a natural, not natural, I shouldn't say natural. It's definitely heavy. Um, it's definitely full coverage, but I just love how it makes my skin look super dewy and healthy. I just love it but I'm applying it with my Sigma F80 brush this is my most recent favorite foundation brush I used to like my Dium Tools um flat top brush but this is the one I've been loving I just like the way that it makes my foundation look then I'm gonna take my Tarte conceal well no <laughs> my Tarte shape and tape concealer I'm doing one at a time just because lately my concealer has been creasing like crazy I don't think it's a concealer. I think it's the powder I've been using, the Laura Mercier um, powder that everyone uses, whatever it's called, Laura Geller, Mercier, whatever. Um, but I think it has to do with using it with a sponge. Well, the real technique sponge, like I feel like it's just not wet enough. There's something about it. Something's not happening. Lately, I've been contouring my nose more. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade warm sand i like this one because it's not too dark but after i contour my nose i like to go back in with the tarte shape and tape concealer to highlight the bridge of my nose so i just go back and forth with the two until i get the look that i want and also um i like to clean up the sides with powder to contour my face, I'm going to be taking the shade and light palette. I'm just taking the lightest shade in that palette and using a Dallium Tools brush. I'm going to leave all the brush numbers below, by the way. But yeah, I just put that right underneath my cheekbone and bring it towards my mouth and apply it to the sides of my forehead and underneath my chin as well. And then I'm just going to take the best bronzer ever, Benefits Hula Bronzer, and this Dallium Tools brush. I'm going to apply that to my cheeks to kind of warm up my face. And then I'm going to take the Sigma Cord de Rosa blush um, to warm up my face. I really like this for the springtime because it gives you like a nice burnt 
look to the cheeks for my under eyes I'm gonna go back with the shade Morocco and this Soiba brush I'm just applying that um this is the first shade that I'm applying and I do bring it down a little bit so that way it can kind of hide the creasing that I have going on because I'm not feeling that Laura Mercier powder I'm then gonna take a brown shade well a mixture of brown shades and apply that really close to my lash line for her eyeliner, I'm using the L'Oreal Black Smoldering Eye Pencil, and then I'm setting it with a black eyeshadow. This is the black from the Gwen Stefani and Urban Decay collab that they did last year. I love this black. It's one of my favorite black eyeshadows, but I'm just taking a pencil brush and setting it and bringing it down just a tad. For mascara, I'm using this Wet n Wild Mascara. This is the Lash Renegade. I'm applying that to my lower lashes. I do really like the wand on this for my lower lashes. I like how it has that little ball. Um, it makes it super easy to do my lower lashes. And for lashes, I'm using the Eyelore Lashes in the style Baroque. To highlight my cheekbones, I'm taking the middle shade in the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. And I'm using a Sigma FO3 brush to highlight my cheekbones and I'm bringing that up above my eyebrows as well. For an inner corner highlight, I'm using Forever Lit and a Sigma F38 brush. I love this shade for an inner corner highlight. I just like this palette all together just because you can use it for eyeshadow, highlighting, a lip top, or you can use it for everything. I'm then going to go back with Forever Lit and apply it to my cheekbones. Um, this is That white shade is like perfect to use like on top of another highlighter. Then I'm just going to put it on my cupid's bow and a little bit above my lips to make my pout a little bit more there <laughs> whatever you want to call it it makes a difference okay and then i'm gonna apply some highlighter because i am wearing an off the shoulder shirt i applied some highlighter to my collarbones and it made like a huge difference i love the way it looked and then for my lips i'm gonna start by using a lip liner this is sore by mac love this lip liner i forgot how much i like mac lip liners and then i'm gonna use um Kylie Cosmetics Coco K for my liquid lipstick and then I'm going to apply Jar Cosmetics Kimchi Doll. I'm not sure if they still sell it. I'm honestly not a huge fan of Jar Cosmetics but it is what it is and to make my lips look a little bit more plump and draw attention to the center, I took a little bit of Nicole Guerrero's Glow Kit. I took that top middle shade and applied it to the center of my lips and definitely made a difference. And yeah, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Let me know some of your favorite makeup products that you've been loving recently. And I will see you guys in my next video.